here we have the demo of Scratch talking to Minecraft and back again. Over in the Minecraft window, we've got a lever um, that's going to move that block across, and we've got a lamp that's uh, triggered whether or not the block's there. Over in Scratch, we've got a button um, that broadcasts the state of a block, depending on whether it's on or off, and we've got a lamp which uh, may or may not be turned on. So, first of all, let's go and turn the lever. The block moves over, the state's updated, and the lamp comes on somewhat cheesily in Scratch. Pull the lever again, give it a second, the lamp goes off. You get the idea. The other way around, over in Minecraft, because I've got to go and click on Scratch, uh, the Minecraft window, get some text in it, but you can watch the lamp behind the text. Press the button, the lamp goes off. Press again, the lamp goes on. If you see the button, what the button's actually doing is uh, placing that block in Minecraft, which completes the circuit and turns the lamp on and off. This is all configured. Um, using the Rube Goldberg controller machine uh, that I've written. Um, at the top, there's a source that's uh, checking whether a Minecraft block exists and then updating that into Scratch. And conversely, there's a source which is uh, Scratch, waiting to listen for a broadcast, and when it happens, updating the state of a block in Minecraft.